you're a Christian parent in the back to school rhythm, I've got a bedtime ritual for you. So we have four boys. The bedtime routine is always crazy for us. Their behavior is not great. My behavior is not great. So one of the things that we do to try to help all of that is called bedtime liturgies. And so we do some prayers over and over. One of them we call body blessing. And here's how it goes. It talks about all the parts of their body. And I put my hand on each part as I pray for them. And it goes like this. I say, Lord, bless their feet. May they carry good news. Bless their legs to go on in times of trouble. Bless their backs. May they be strong enough to bear the burdens of others. Bless their arms to hold the lonely and their hands to do good work. Bless their neck, which you turn their heads to the poor. Bless their ears to discern truth, their mouth to speak encouragement, and their eyes to see beauty. Bless their minds. May they grow wise in the knowledge of you. And then I finish with, above all, Lord, bless their heart. May they come to love you and all that you've made in the right order. Now, a couple reasons I love this. First, kids intuit the theological truth that God made their bodies, loves their bodies, and their bodies are good. So they love embodied stuff. This is like head, shoulders, knees, and toes wisdom. I also want to leave them theological clues about what their bodies are for. It's for loving God. It's for loving others. It's for serving in the world. And the last reason I love this is because it's good for us to remind us that our bodies are good and that they are for loving God and loving neighbor. So try this. I hope it helps your bedtime routine and I hope it helps you think about your body.